Council of Scientific and Industrial Research is a premier national research and development organization made up of an impressive network of 38 national laboratories, 39 outreach centers and 5 units which are supported by 4,600 active scientists and 8,000 scientific and technical personnel. Covering a wide spectrum of interventions, CSIR's role in science and technology and human resource is a matter of great pride for the Indian scientific community and for Indians at large. As a country that is so rich in minerals and natural resources, India has always attracted a lot of study and research in this field. An organization that plays an important role in this regard is the Institute of Minerals and Materials Technology or IMMT located at Bhuvaneshwar, Orisha. IMMT, set up in 1964, conducts R&D in a wide range of subjects related to mining, minerals and metal industries. In recent years, the institute has progressed by leaps and bounds is the development of the low-cost terrafill water filter. This water filter system uses burnt red clay for the filtration and treatment of turbid raw water into clean drinking water for domestic purposes and applications. The cost of purification by this method is as low as rupees 2 for every ton of water that is obtained. Moreover, this mechanism doesn't require electricity or sludge management. With the help of this fantastic technology introduced by IMMT, different plants ranging from 1 to 50,000 litres per day capacity have been developed commercially for domestic and community applications, thus transforming into an industry of its own. The production of steel is one of the most energy intensive of all industrial activities and is also responsible for a major portion of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. IMMT has been instrumental in promoting a new process of producing steel in India. This process uses molten oxide electrolysis and the clever utilization of an iron chromium alloy instead of iron oxide. IMMT has also developed another technology for the production of green steel. It introduces a simple modification in the conventional process used for production of steel. This technology precisely controls the injection of granulated waste tires in conventional electric arc furnaces EAFs, for steel making. IMMT also continues to invest a lot of its expertise and energy into the processing activities of gemstone and other commercially valuable minerals from their ore. Approximately 90% of selenium and tellurium is found on anode slimes formed during the electrolytic refining of copper. Therefore, a number of technologies for the treating of copper anode slimes have been developed and the Honorable Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has further outlined and acknowledged IMMT's role. The mission and vision of this lab is to have a centre, a knowledge centre, which would be created through innovation and which is also sustainable in nature in the area of minerals and materials technology. Minerals are uh, available uh, at plenty on the earth's surface, so you have to extract them and then make a pure metal, which we are all, all the time using, let's say, uh, stainless steel or mild steel or iron. Um, or aluminium or zinc copper. All these processes are uh, should be uh, commercially viable, low cost uh, and also sustainable in nature and with minimum environmental damage. In such a scenario, IMMT continues to carve out a niche in the processing of advanced materials for greater value addition and working on the use efficiency of critical resources and raw materials available in our country.